and hello friends! Today we are at SeaWorld for the Seven Seas Food Festival. I am so excited. I'm gonna be hanging out with some friends, eating some food, and drinking some beer. Let's go do this. First things first, I'm gonna get myself a lanyard so that I can enjoy the most amount of food and drink. And for the lanyards, you can choose from a 10, a 15, or for the pass holders, an 18. And it actually is very reasonably priced. So if you get the 15 item one, you pay $67. That means you can get 15 items from any of the stands, whether it be food or drink. And it breaks down the price to almost $4 an item. I decided to get the 18 one because I'm gonna come back and these are good for at least a couple of weeks so I'll have plenty of time to enjoy all the food and drink that I want to unless I just get 18 things tonight which would be very bad very very bad I'm also joined by some friends tonight Jackie from Super Enthused, Vincent from Vincent Vision, and Sam from Expedition Theme Park. And we are going to eat a lot of food. I am so excited. First stop, I think I'm gonna get a drink, mainly because of a mixed swagger. Is that what you got? No, I got sunshine, because I'm walking on sunshine. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I can be Mick Swagger then. If you want, you can be the high stepper. I'll be the high stepper. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Can I have a Mick Swagger? Oh, I don't know how close I have to be. And then I'll just punch it. Thank you. I decided to switch with Vincent. So that means I'm Mick Swagger now, and you, you're the high stepper. Oh, Get to stepping. Boy. I'm the high stepper. <laughs> if you notice, when they actually put the IBU, that's a bitter rating. So I'm going the high stepper, which is 100%. It means it's going to be very bitter. I like it. It's pretty good. It's 100 billion percent bitter. Yeah. What do you think? Mine is just 11 bitter. Sunshine. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> First food stop, I'm going to get myself some meatballs. Now that's a spicy meatball. You don't have to eat just taco, we have Italian. I like the Italian. You like the Italian's your favorite one? Yeah. He said Italian's your favorite one, we have Italian right here. <laughs> Woo hoo! Do it again, do it again. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> Look at those meatballs. Oh yeah. You think they're spicy? No. No. Oh, no spicy meatball. Here you go. You need. You need Give them out. Go ahead. Get your book here. It's the good book, baby. It's the good book. Right here. We have the one in Sea World. You gotta get the book. Sea World. Have you ever been so hungry that you just started eating something before you filmed it? Because that's exactly what I did, and it is delicious. Honestly. I'm sorry, I left one little corner piece of the meatball, but I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it a lot. First item, meatballs, Italian. This is a start of something very good, and I've got a lot to go. I'm very excited. I don't think I'm gonna eat everything I could tonight, but I sure am gonna try. Next stop, maybe we'll keep it as a drink food, drink food, drink food rotation. So I'm gonna get passion, of heights just sounds amazing the best thing about these lanyards is how close you have to get <laughs> okay ready ready Well, I was not impressed with that actual wheat ale that they had. So, we're going to move along here and hopefully come across something good. But the sun is going down. I think I'm going to go with the lamb chop. Look at that. And it's $7.99. And remember, because of the lanyard, everything broke down to a $4 price. So, I'm definitely winning here. Oh boy, now that looks good. 
there it is the lamb chop i'm excited for the actual potatoes because that looks fantastic oh wow overall this smells amazing i guess i'm just gonna eat it right off the bone It has been a long time since I devoured something so quickly, but that was phenomenal. Way better than the lamb chop that I had for the festival of the holidays. I mean, this is, wow. I loved it. Oh, look it, there's Mako. Next stand is the North Atlantic Market, and they have New England lobster rolls, and they have fish and chips, but I think I'm gonna get the Salt Life Lager, since I, gonna try to commit to one food one drink one food one drink whether that food be dessert or not but I think that's what I'm gonna go with so I hate when people stamp it like that if you just take half a second and there you go look at how right on point that was right. it's not I know that I decided to get the salt life but that fish and chips looks amazing and I like the waffle fries as well Wow, I am thoroughly enjoying the salt life here. It's really delicious, actually. Hmm. It's really cool that you can go around and try different types of beers and foods that you normally wouldn't eat. I don't know when the last time I got lamb. I think it was at, actually, the uh, festival at Epcot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't order lamb every other day or once a week or something. So, that's why I like these food festivals. They're a sampling experience. Salt Life beer was very delicious, but now I think I need to get some steak. So we're gonna go with the Brazilian Picana steak. I'm excited. And it comes with those potatoes, and I think those potatoes are the same potatoes I had with the lamb chop, which I loved. Oh, look at that, there it is. Oh, they're not the same potatoes, they're different potatoes. I'm excited. Oh yeah. A little chutney there. Out of all the things I've gotten to eat tonight, well, I've only got the meatballs and the lamb chop, now the steak, and that looks the best. Wow. Total package right there. I'm excited to try this. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm gonna go with the potatoes first, with a little bit of that chutney. Oh, they're red potatoes too. That's on point. Wow. Steak time. I don't got time to cut this either. We're taking one bite. Oh yeah. Well, that officially just took the top spot. Better than the lamb chop. Oh, and that's at the Brazilian booth. Unbelievable. As I'm sitting here eating my steak, I'm getting hit with the smell of something so delicious. So I peeked around the corner here and wait till you guys see what they got grilling up here. Holy moly, look at that. That is bacon wrapped pork. I gotta get one. I gotta get one. Oh yeah. I know that I was going with the drink after this and I screwed up the rotation, but I can't say no to this. It's impossible. Honestly though, look at that. Oh, and that is such a, a big amount of food, right? I am shocked with this. The pineapple sauce is what really takes it to the extreme. Wow, bacon is crispy. I love it. This is amazing. As much as I love the bacon wrapped pork, which I'd probably still have some all over my face, the steak is still number one. Just can't beat that steak. I ran back and recruited Jackie so she can get the steak. She needs the steak. So we're coming back so that she can try this steak. Yes! 
Yep, I love the steak. Noticing they have a lot of hats here, I might retire the good old fedora and maybe switch things up a little bit. What do you think? Ah, I like it. You know, back in the day, we actually wore these like this. That's how they wore, I think. I think that That's was the trend. That's a look. It was the trend, right? Yeah, that was a trend. That was a trend. Wow, the boots are just never ending here. We have the Pacific Coast Market, and then we got Sugar Works, and then another one on the other side. But I do need to get a drink, so. Well, we stopped at the Polynesian stand, and they have an actual island IPA. I think I'm gonna go with that one because I had Big Wave earlier. So uh, I think that's gonna be a good choice. Stamp me. Thank you. The Polynesian IPA is very fruity. Like I was a little shocked by it. It's okay. It's mixed with orange, mangoes, and guava. It's not something I would get a lot though. But if you like IPAs, and especially fruity IPAs, I think you might like this one. I like this music too. Flip flop back to food and we are in the German market and they actually have, I think a pretzel filled, a pretzel wrapped bratwurst and a potato cake. Oh man, maybe I might use two credits here. Ugh. As I was actually reading out the menu, someone walked by and said, don't get the potato pancake, it's horrible. So I think, I'm gonna get the potato pancake, but I'm also gonna get the pretzel wrap bratwurst just in case I don't like it. I gotta know. I gotta know. And I love potato pancakes that are served with applesauce. So I don't know. We'll find out. Oh wow. Oh wait, is that the potato pancake? Yeah. Well, that's not what I thought it was. <laughs> I'm gonna see. It might be good. It looks like toast. It looks like bread. It looks like a loaf of bread. But. The bratwurst and pretzel looks pretty good. I'm excited. That's what I'm getting. Ah. They are so fragile. That's what they look. Very delicate, these potato pancakes are. Yep. They might as well it. call them potato bread. <laughs> I feel like I didn't listen to that lady because I don't think this potato pancake's gonna be good. I'm actually afraid to eat it, but we're gonna give it a go. Oh boy, here it goes. It's bad. Oh, it's bad. I don't like it. Okay, but guys, I didn't listen to that lady. I ordered a potato pancake. And? This literally looks just like bread. <laughs> Should have listened to the lady. Please, somebody just give it a try. Give it a try. And is volunteering as tribute to try this horrendous looking. We're trying the infamous potato, potato pancake, pancake, I guess. A guest wow. literally like yelled at us, don't get the don't potato get it. pancake! And they got it anyway. <laughs> yep. They got it anyway because it's rubber. What's the yellow? It's supposed to be applesauce, which is a traditional side for potato pancakes. Like it does taste like potatoes. It's not terrible. But that's not good. But maybe in Germany that's, that's what they call it. In Germany, I'm sure they get a big kick out Sam. of it. But that is why I got the pretzel broth uh, course, really. and I think this is gonna be good. <laughs> oh yeah. The pretzel wrap bratwurst was phenomenal. I think that actually taken the third spot. So if I wanted to rank all the food, go steak, the bacon wrap pork, the bratwurst, the lamb chop, and then the meatball. Potato pancake, we're not even counting it. So this is my first time actually walking through Sesame Street. Completely finished, like, I, I, I did a, a drive-by one time on Sesame Street, but it was just real quick. But now I can actually look at some of the detail and I really love it in here. You can meet Cookie Monster there. Look at all the theming. It looks very good, it, it's like Sesame Street. Look at this. Wow, I've never seen a detailed Sesame Street thing ever. I like it. Not only does Sesame Street have great theming, 
but they also have some very intense rides. And it looks like we're riding this one right here. Oh, oh, it lifts up. I thought you just sat there in the pot and spun around. <laughs> we're going for it. They said this was a kid ride. Look at this. All right, I guess it isn't that big. <laughs> oh man, we gotta get in our flower pot. I also really hope. Oh boy. Oh my lord. I don't. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't like this either. Oh boy. Oh my god. Look at. <laughs> Wait. We can spin this ourselves. You have to sit. You have to sit down like a normal person. Oh my god, we do. <laughs> I can't sit down like a normal person. I'll have to pretend like I am. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? Okay. Like pretty cozy, not bad. What the heck? Feel good about it? Feel good. I'm like, I have to be doing this. How are you guys? Only one person can They do seem like they have. Oh, we're doing it. it wrong. What? We're just pretzeling our legs what together. Are we, how are we doing it wrong? <laughs> how is there any other way to do this? One that? goes this way. Yeah, Well, now I'm sitting well, on your lap. You're just stuck. <laughs> 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 it's only time to spin. <laughs> spin! My hips are blocking the spin I, mechanism. I, I <laughs> 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 this is a really we're stressful spinning. ride. I was not expecting this ride to be as stressful as it is. <laughs> <laughs> they make these kids work on the Sesame oh. Street. Oh. Yeah, where are we Sesame Street, Abby's Tower and Power. This ride, what is this ride? I definitely need to get either something to eat or something to drink because that ride really got me all shook up. I was, I got such a headache, like the spins. Whew. And luckily they have a whole bunch of food stands right here. Oh, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna get a little bit of food and drink. So we're gonna do a Freedom Tower, which is an American Amber, and then we're gonna get Gator Bites. I like it. And the fried Gator Bites actually look pretty decent. Yeah, they look actually really good. When people usually ask me what the fried gator tastes like, I, I have to say it tastes like a dark meat chicken tender. <laughs> yep. But I like them, they're good there. Not too dry, actually. That gator is actually some of the best gator I've ever had. Usually, it's very dry and tough, but that was juicy. Like, I liked it. It was really good. Almost like a chicken nugget from McDonald's. <laughs> They just came on the loudspeaker. They said the park is closing in 15 minutes. And I did not fulfill my mission at getting that bison burger. So I'm gonna make my way over there right now so I can try to get this bison burger. I hope they still have some left. And we made it back for the cricket crusted bison slider. Wow. And there it is, the cricket crusted bison burger with the coca-cola onion relish on the side i got the no cheese because you guys don't know i don't like cheese if you don't know i'm excited to try this oh man it's so amazing oh the onion relish really really tastes delicious and i don't even like relish but the quality of the meat it's a little dry i should have got something to drink but holy moly Definitely worth the wait. Oh, I've been hyping this up all day, and here it is, and I love it. Oh. But when I went to go get my bison burger, I lost my group. I have to catch up with them. I think they're gonna go see some penguins. I missed them by like a second. They're actually on the other side of that black door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do the walking tour and then that way maybe I can catch them as they're coming off the ride to see the penguins. I hope that'll work that way. If not, I don't know. I guess I'm going on a walking tour of the penguins by myself. Which I don't mind because I love penguins. But would you look at that moon? Wow, that's so pretty. Oh, we're going in the exit. We're gonna go find that penguin. Ha, 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 ha!
<laughs> oh, look at these penguins. They're flying. Oh, look at that. What are you saying to those guys? What do they say? I don't know. They're saying, get out of here. We want to go home. They're getting old. Oh. closing. They're, they're kicking us out. The penguins are telling us we got to go. Come on. Hey, guy. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at this guy. He's touching. Oh. Hey, little guy. Come back. Hey, little guy. Hey, little friends. Hey, buddy. He touching me and with that I think I am done here today what an amazing day I ate so much food and drank so much beer I just feel pleasantly good and I still have like nine punches left on my card so I paid $65 to eat and drink amazingly and then come back and do it again another day so make sure you check out Jackie's channel super enthused Sam expedition theme park and Vincent Vincent vision Love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye!